Welcome everyone, it is impossible to downgrade to 16.1.1 or 16.1.2 if you have the iPhone 14 series, the iPad Pro M2 or the iPad 2022. So if you're watching on these devices, you are out of luck. Any other device, the downgrade is possible unsigned. We're going to downgrade to 15.6 RC1. We are then going to supervise the device, delay OTA to iOS 16.1.1 or 16.1.2 restore the data and by the end everything will be where you left off okay you don't even need to sign into most of your accounts i was kind of surprised everything was working flawlessly i'm going to have chapters down below for the downgrade process you do need a computer of course uh, so no computer get one fast because this may not last very long so moving to the computer let's go first step if you have a windows we need to get the correct version of itunes so head over to this site in the description click on get started and where it says iTunes click on the windows and then the iTunes for your windows will download once this is finished set it up to your computer and for Mac you have finder so you don't need to do this step then we're going to head over to the beta firmware for the iPhone wiki you're just going to select your device so I have iPad Pro if you have an iPhone you select iPhone you're going to click on the 15.x and you see here where it says contents, this shows all of the models, so you don't need to scroll down, that'll take some time. Click on your device model and follow me very closely. You see here we have 15.6 RC, 15.6 RC2. You want to download the 15.6 RC with the G9 at the end, the G69. Okay, so you're going to click on this, and now the firmware file is going to download onto your device. This firmware has been signed since July 2022, hopefully they just keep it signed forever, but if they do stop unsigning, check the description now so you aren't wasting your time, if there's a red siren symbol and it says iOS 15.6 RC is now unsigned, then this tutorial is completely dead, uh, you're not going to be able to downgrade to 15.6, which means you then can't upgrade to the unsigned 16.1.2 with the supervision method. After you have downloaded the firmware file, you open up the iTunes or Finder on the Mac. We then need to create a backup of our device. Very important because we are going to do a factory reset. I do recommend you turn on encrypted backup to backup literally everything. Set a passcode of just 123. Make it simple. So in the future, if you forget, you can come back to this video. Passwords 123. Once you have created the backup, what we need to do is we need to flash the iOS 15.6 RC. So on Mac, you're going to hold down the Option key or the Alt key. We're holding that down, you click on Restore. On Windows, you're going to hold down Shift key, then left click the Restore iPhone or iPad. You then select the 15.6 IPSW file, the firmware file, and then it's going to flash onto your device. I'm going to speed this part up. Now that the firmware has been flashed, we're going to head over back to the supervised.me. We're going to click on get started again, and we will need to download our backup bot. So select your operating system. If you see security risk, click on the arrow, and then click on allow download. Our backup bot has existed for 10 years, and no one's reported any issues because it's safe. So we're going to download the supervised backup here. This video is also for Windows only, but if you are on Mac, we just go back to the website here you can see the mac os instructions which are below the windows ones i recommend you follow those instructions and if you're on windows you just keep on watching this video guide so we have supervisor.zip uh, ibackup bot setup so we just want to set up the ibackup bot onto our device so just follow the on-screen instructions uh, this is a very small application and then we're going to click on finish make sure everything is ticked and now the iBackup bot will open up. If you get any error messages, just click on OK. They're not really errors. You don't need to worry about them. OK. Now, I left my device connected to the computer after the downgrade, but it's not showing up. So the solution for this is we're going to unplug our device from the computer. We're going to replug it in. And right now, our iPad showing up. You can see 15.6 right here. So the downgrade did work. I was on 16 with 2 earlier. You can rewind the video to check that out. So now we need to extract the supervisor.zip. 
So you want to find where the folder is located, extract all, and then extract. This shouldn't take too long, the file should be pretty small. Now we have some folders here, add supervision, and that's what we need. So we're going to open up my backup bot. We're going to click on open a backup. And from here, we just need to navigate to the supervised folder. We're going to click on add supervision, supervise. And then once it says no items match your search, you see that there? We're going to click on select folder. We're going to click on the plus, And then we're going to click on system files. And we're going to search for config and click on enter. You're going to see configuration profiles. Click on that. And once that's clicked, click on the restore button. Now the password is 1111. Put it up on the screen for non-English speakers who are somehow watching this far. We're going to click on OK. If you get an error like this, just ignore it. That's an issue with... It's unrelated. So click on No. And then we'll click on OK. And now the backup will restore. You can see restore completed. That took literal seconds. Uh, mainly because the backup file size is just so small. And once you've done that, you don't need to have iBackup Bot anymore. If you don't trust it, you can delete it off of your computer. After the backup has restored, set up the device until you see apps and data. Do not transfer the apps and data. We do that after we go on iOS 16.1.2. Uh, so we're just going to set up the device. You can see I am on 15.6. Again, more proof. And then now what we need to do is on the iPad itself. We are supervised, so we can go to the supervised.me website. And once you're on the supervised.me website, we're going to click on the delay OTA option. And I'm going to wait for this to load. So we have 16.1.2 and all these firmwares. You can see you have 73 days to do this. So no real rush, but I'd recommend you do it now, not later. So once you have selected the firmware you want, we're just going to tap on get and then allow and then close. From here, if you see any ads, just click on them, helps layout.com. So let's open up the settings app. You're going to tap on profile downloaded, install, 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 done. From here, when we go to the software update page, we are now going to see iOS 15.7.1. We don't care about that. Let's tap on upgrade to iOS 16. And there it is iPadOS 16.1.1. Even though it's currently unsigned, uh, if you have iPhone, you will see iOS 16.1.2. Uh, if you're wondering, iOS 16.1.2 never released for iPads. I spent 30 minutes trying to figure that out. And uh, if you're wondering, 16.1.1 for iPads is the latest. You can then see here, firmware is now downloading. And now we're brought back to the setup screen. We swipe up. You can see software update complete. Your iPad has been updated to 16.1.1. Check the date, the top left is Jan 2023. I just saw will sign long ago. So don't sell your device, we need to move to the computer. Moving back to the computer, we need to modify the backup. So if you are watching this on the Mac, don't follow these instructions from Apple. Instead, click on Command plus Shift plus G, and then you're going to highlight what you see uh, there. Copy that, paste it, and then it will bring you to the backup folder. Now for Windows, we have to do a bit of a different procedure. So it says in the search, enter the app data or enter user profile. Uh, you will need to enter an app data, not user profile, because we use the version of iTunes which supports iBackupBot. So we're going to highlight that, copy it. We're going to search for app data. And okay, just disappeared for some reason. Try again. And there we go. We are now in the app data folder. So from here, you can see the instructions. We need to click on Apple Computer. We then need to click on the mobile sync backup and now check the folder. So I have a backup made at 2.20 a.m. But you can see it's currently 2.21. So that backup is going to be empty. It's going to have nothing. But we have another backup made at 12.52 a.m. That was the backup with all of my data. You can see the size as well if you hover. It says 63 gigabytes. So this is the backup we need. Don't use the one that was made one minute ago because it's empty so once we've determined that we're going to click on the correct backup we're going to scroll to the bottom and we're going to see here info or info.plist one of the two right click on this highlight open with and you want to open up with a notepad text edit if you're on the mac so we're going to click on edit now find and we want to find 16.2 it's going to find 16.2 
And all we need to do is change this to show 16.1, 16.0. Uh, don't do like 16.1.1, it may not work. So we're gonna save the file and the backup is now modified. So make sure your device is connected to the computer. You can take 16.1.1 and we're gonna click on restore backup here. And you can see it says today, uh, today it's 12.52 a.m. So that's the right backup. It's the one we want to restore, that's not the empty one. So we'll click on restore. The password again is 123 if you set the same password as me. And now the backup will restore onto your device. So this will take a while. I have 66 gigabytes of uh, information that needs to be restored. You can now see, welcome to iPad. Let's get started. And look at that. I mean, all of my data has been transferred, all papers back. When these apps re-download, they'll have that app data. You can also see the iPadOS version is now 16.1.1. If you did successfully downgrade to iOS 16.1.1 or 16.1.2 unsigned, please do consider dropping me a super thanks. For the like buttons, if you just slide across, there's that option. It's a one-time donation. It'd be greatly appreciated for the effort I put in these videos. There's also the membership in the description. If you become a member, then I get a monthly subscription. Uh, if you use Amazon, guess what? Click on my Amazon affiliate link every time before you make a purchase. It may sound like a small thing. I only get 2%, but uh, it's 2%, which Amazon uh, would usually take. And I get it instead of them. You're supporting your favorite creator by doing these things, and it helps me out massively. Okay, one person who clicks on an ad, that's 0.05p. One person who sends $2. I mean, that's like a thousand times more support. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.